for the first element we have the earth element and the first spell it shoots some air at mobs and it deals like two hearts close to two hearts or like two and a half hearts to be specific next spell is oh, uh, the ocean burst so what it does if you just you just right click it it only goes up to like two blocks it doesn't go that far and it just deals damage also shoots mobs away from you so like, it can do it to as an ewe to shoot mobs away after we have the solar beam so the solar beam will just do this laser which will keep dealing damage to mobs after hitting it so let's try a mob here so you see it's keep dealing damage to them and it kills him with just one hit let's kill the last one too okay so some spells in this mod you the, uh, the mod maker the way they made it is that they're all uh old ka and then the name or and then some more so we have the ka quack quick so, so this is like a an earthquake basically and it deals some re some decent amount of damage, like around three hearts. Okay. Yep. After that, it's a splash of water that keep dealing damage after uh, for over time. So if I do it to like a target like the the dummy, see it deals 1.4 damage, and then at the end it will deal a good amount of damage. Okay. So we have also here more spells. So this one is also that has the same idea. So same idea but stronger so like you have two spells that are close to each other but this one is uh, a bit stronger and this one is like a trap to mob so like you can't escape it and stuff like that i can i'll try it on the dummy so you see it's less damage but it's it's a trap and it says for a, a longer amount of time okay the shield this shield will make an air with an air which will Defend you from every from all the project projects. Oh, I use a different spell. Okay, so let's just summon here. So what? It, so I want to. It's very big. Look how big it is. And what it it will save you from all projectiles inside it, and also it will deal uh, damage to mobs and then throw them away. Last spell and that's the strongest spell. It's, it has the same idea for everything, but it deals a lot more damage. Look at this. Just one shot more deal so much damage let me try it on the dummies they deal a lot of damage very quickly everything for the healer spells we have the first spell wave of relief and what wave of relief does it does it removes all bad effects on you and also heals nearby allies for a small amount so i'm gonna poison myself and use a spell and just remove the debuff from me next spell we have radiant beam so it shoots the beam which deals damage to mobs and it deals extra damage to undead and set them on fire so let me just put a zombie here it deals extra damage to this one mob and it sets them on fire last thing radiant storm it shoots some light from the uh, from the uh, from the sky and it deals so that a lot of damage to mobs and it throw them away so let's try it. it deals and it also deals extra damage to zombie and uh, undead mobs and set them on fire and they get shot uh, they get thrown away very fa very far so let me try here for example see they are shot very far and a lot of damage now we have the fire element so the first thing is fire pillar and this fire pillar it will you'll summon this fire and which will deal damage to mobs that come near it and also will save you from uh projectiles Next thing we have the calf rise and it shoots a big fireball which deals a lot of damage. So like if I summon a zombie here, look, it shoots him away and deals a lot of damage. Same goes for the zombie. Okay. This now we have the fire. This one is funny. Uh, I I think this is a big Pokemon reference and it just shoots a fire guys and keeps walking in front and it deals damage to everything that it passes through so, really cool now we have that uh this one is so this one this version is the same as the other one but it's a bigger version which deals more damage and it's a higher level so it's like a master spell uh, see 
Okay, so let's try it on a mob or something. Basically, they just all die. It's a very strong spell. Now, the last thing is the Inferno form. And this one is very good. So, first of all, when you use it for 12 seconds, you look like this. So you're almost, no one can see you. And any projectiles will be deflected. Mobs that are near you will get pushed away and you will take damage. And there's also a chance for you to fade through attack. So, you, everything takes damage, everything gets thrown away and you project... Uh, projectors can't hit you and you can also uh, face through attacks so that's really good next element we have the ice uh, element and we have the first spell the frost fan but it doesn't choose some frost in front that it pierces through mobs also it puts the ice effect on them next spell we have the blizzard beam choose the beam that go through pierces through mobs too and it deals damage to all mobs After that, we have the frost form. It's close to the other, for the fire form. So if I use it, mobs will get pushed away. Everything will freeze. And if a mob is too cl is close to me for a while, they will be f uh, completely frozen. Oh, like this, for example. And also, I take less damage in that form. Last spell we have is absolute uh, zero, which freezes all mobs around you in three. Uh, block so it's really close to ice age next spells we have the necromancer and for the first spell it shoots this beam that deals a lot of and i like these spells a lot because these the necromancer spells they deal a lot of damage and they're very good to kill to use them as a, a spell to kill one it shoots this beam which deals a lot of them next spell this one is so cool so, it doesn't deal that much damage, and I'll show you. So, like, if I choose to, it doesn't deal that much damage. 2.6. But, this will ha so, this ability has a, has a cool passive. There's a 20% chance that mobs that are near me will just die. Do you see this one died because of the passive? So, no matter how strong that mob is, you can just kill them with this spell, with a 20% chance. Last spell, which is so strong, this shoots a beam from... Hell, which deals a lot of damage. Look at this. It's a lot of damage. See, like it deals 15.2. That's a lot of damage to get on a dummy. For the next element, we have the sorcery element. So the first spell is flash tip. So it just gives you this small bo uh, boost. You know, you fly, you flash tip. So you just get a small boost, but it's not really that. Good. Next spell the force. So what it does it shoots this force and it pushes mobs. So it does it deals some this amount of damage, but it pushes mobs a, a bit farther. On. Last spell is the zoom. And this spell what it does it is you have to it shoots you from the sky and teleports you to your spawn point. So if I use it, it will just automatically teleport me to the spawn point. Okay, like I use it again, I'm gonna teleport to that same spawn point. For the last element, we have the lightning element, and the first spell is thunder, thundering chain. You just throw the chain of light, which will deal damage, and it takes, keeps going for a far place. Deals good amount of damage. We have the lightning vertex. It has the same idea, but it throws a thunderstorm, which will carry mobs with it. It's really good. It deals good damage. We have the thunderbirds. What it shoots thunder all over a wave of thunder all over around you, it deals damage and shoots mob away from you. So like if I just do this, there you go. It got away from me. Okay. Now for the storm, storm blink. You get you can teleport in a 60 block radius, and when you teleport on your target, you will do this lightning effect on that target. So, so if I want to teleport on these dummies and I deal like four damage, it's a good damage, decent. And that was for, that was the last element. That's it for Arcane Essentials and all the spells added by Arcane Essentials. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.